Right now I want us to uh, prepare our hearts to receive some more the Word of God because the Word of God is life. It sustains us and keeps us and I'm going to continue on talking about actually uh, exactly what pastor was talking about. I'm going to talk about the Holy Spirit and um, I'm gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about the function of the Holy Spirit in our life and what he's here to do and just gonna continue on talking what the pastor has started in our life it's important like pastor said it is important for our lives to know the person of the Holy Spirit to know his characteristics to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit because we're in this world where it's not just uh fun and games but we're in a world world of battle in the world of war where there is a tag always between the evil spirit and the Holy Spirit where there is a battle between the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness and so we need the Holy Spirit in our lives so that we can live out the life that God has for us so we can overcome every single day of our life we can overcome every single issue in our life amen so let's open to the to 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 and we have received God's spirit not the world's spirit so we can know the wonderful things that God has freely given to us Bible declares that we have received the Holy Spirit on the day of our salvation so the moment we've received the moment we we've given our life to Jesus Christ Holy Spirit lives comes to live in our heart we become an indwelling for the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit and that's why pastor was uh, encouraging us and telling us that the way to work with Holy Spirit and fellowship with the Holy Spirit is to keep our temple holy. To not defile our temple and this way Holy Spirit can live in his temple. You don't like to live in a dirty house. You don't like to live in a messy house neither does the Holy Spirit so that's why the way the way to live with Holy Spirit he is holy he likes to he likes to live in a holy place but Bible declares and says that when on a day of our salvation Holy Spirit comes to live in our heart and this scripture declares to us that we have received God's Spirit and we receive God's Spirit for a purpose for a reason and his purpose uh, in this scripture declares that so that he will get so he can reveal to us and bring us a revelation of the things that God has freely given us. Holy Spirit was given us and we can do two things with Him. As Christians we can only do two things with the Holy Spirit. We can either live and have communion and fellowship with the Holy Spirit or we can ignore Him. And ignoring Holy and sadly a lot of Christians they come to the place where uh, uh, a lot of Christians they when, when they get saved and they receive the Holy Spirit and this and that's all that be, that comes to as for the Holy Spirit there they they don't they don't grow in the knowledge of him they don't develop relationship with him they don't develop they don't they don't develop understanding of him they don't grow in knowledge with him and Holy Spirit is like a spare tire in their car and imagine having a uh, a person that for example like we had we we were at the wedding yesterday imagine two people getting married for life and celebrating their marriage and never speaking to each other again or imagine you going on a long trip and you have a partner that sits in the car with you and you never speak, speak to him or her ever again you never speak in a trip then that's just that's how a lot of Christians live their life as they when they come when they get saved is that they ignore the Holy Spirit but I'm happy I'm happy to be in a place and I'm happy to know and have a revelation of the Holy Spirit and I'm happy to be in a church where we constantly talk about Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is our partner and encouraging each other to always grow in the Holy Spirit so that we as Christians we don't live a life a life that is a life that is just without Holy Spirit without His power and without knowing him without going further with him holy spirit is god and holy spirit is a person like the pastor already um, explained to us he is a person that has his own thoughts his own will he has his own characteristic and just because he doesn't have a body he still is a person and we need to develop a relationship with the holy spirit because the bible declares that holy spirit is within us and we can all we can do two things we, we can we can either grow with him 
or we can ignore him. Jesus in his life did everything with the Holy Spirit. From the beginning of his, starting from his conception, he was conceived by the Holy Spirit. When he grew up, he was he was led by the Holy Spirit. He was anointed by the Holy Spirit. The first sermon Jesus, Jesus preached was about the Holy Spirit. And the last message, the last words that he spoke before he went to heaven was about the Holy Spirit. We see that Holy Spirit came upon disciples and Holy Spirit led them. And we see throughout the whole New Testament that Holy Spirit did the great things through the life of apostles. Because we know that Holy Spirit because apostles they ministered Bible says to the Holy Spirit they knew of the Holy Spirit they asked of the Holy Spirit and they worked with him and God through the Holy Spirit he did a lot of great things in their lives so we know with the help of the Holy Spirit that apostle Paul, uh, apostles did a lot of healings they set people free they conquered continents they were teleported from one place to another we know in the Bible we see that men and women of God that were anointed by the Holy Spirit they were able to shut the mouth of lions they were able to feed multitudes and thousands they were able to conquer the armies with the Holy Spirit they were able to do a lot and so we as Christians, we as the followers of Jesus Christ, we need to realize and recognize the power that the Holy Spirit has, the fellowship that we can have with the Holy Spirit and what Holy Spirit has to offer. Amen. The reward for the, Holy, the, reward for the relationship with the Holy Spirit is power. We know that every time we choose to work in our relationship with the Holy Spirit, every time we choose to follow Holy Spirit, every, every time we choose to develop our relationship with the Holy Spirit, this is not a relationship that takes it's a relationship that only gives we know that holy spirit every person that was ever in contact with the holy spirit in partnership with the holy spirit that person was never insignificant never small and they, that person was never um insignificant in their life we know we see um in the life of elisha when holy spirit was upon him we know that the person that Elisha uh, and other prophets that the Holy Spirit was upon them, he revealed the secrets of the enemies. He uh, conquered the armies without a sword and a spear and he did great mighty things. He raised people from the dead and, and fed people supernaturally. Every person that was used by the Holy Spirit never will remain small. They always walked in the power of God and we know even from the life of a prophet T.B. Joshua which just celebrated his 52nd uh, birthday. We know that you know a person out of you know coming out of such a poverty, coming out of, out of a village that nobody even knows even that place. A person that nobody knows but because the Holy Spirit rested upon him, because he chose to develop his relationship and fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Now today kings and queens come and await his counsel away his prayer presidents and prime minister come and a way to see to hear the word of God from him simply because he chose to not ignore the person of the Holy Spirit but to develop a fellowship with the Holy Spirit every time we choose to fellowship with the Holy Spirit every time we choose to have association and communion with the Holy Spirit we will be blessed we will be on the top we will never be on the bottom amen you know they say that show me who your friends are and i will tell you who you will be or who you are and if we allow holy spirit to become our best friend to our dearest friend a person that we constantly talk to a person that we always associate with we will become great because holy spirit is the greatest and so it's important that we always fellowship with the Holy Spirit it's important that we have great relationship and association with the Holy Spirit amen second part of this verse says that the reason why we need to have the fellowship with the Holy Spirit is because only Holy Spirit he can bring the knowledge he can reveal to us free he can reveal the wonderful things that God has freely given us that means only Holy Spirit can bring us a revelation of God's Word. We know that having the Bible, the Bible is not a means to itself. The Bible is to reveal to us 
the God of the Bible and only Holy Spirit can bring us that revelation of God without Holy Spirit Bible says that through Holy Spirit we get to know the Father having a Bible having a scripture is it's that's not all that it takes to get to know the Father and to know his promises to know what God has for us because we know in many colleges and universities and institutes you can take a course you can take a uh, you can take a, a class where uh, people will where professors will uh, tell you the history of the Bible they will explain the things of the Bible and most of them will be they're not even Christians they will just present to you a Bible from a from from the historical standpoint of view and from a moral standpoint of view and it takes only a Holy Spirit and it takes his presence to bring to us a revelation of his word and bring to us revelation of what God has in store for us amen because um, Bible can be just a logos as a written word of God but only Holy Spirit can bring rhema can take out of his word and bring to us the revelation the spoken word of God the word that is in for a season for this moment for now amen and so that's why we need to have a fellowship of the Holy Spirit and need to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit so that the word that we read can be can become a revelation in our hearts and we know that without God's word we can do nothing in our lives amen there was a story that um, most of you know this story uh, it comes from the book of four dimension that uh, Dr. Yonggu Cho describes where there was these three girls where they got they they uh, they were at the conference and they were really got inspired by uh, by the word from God and they when they left the conference they were going back home and they decided instead of going around it was a long journey they decided to cross the river by walking upon the river and they start quoting the scripture that what where Jesus walked in the water and they start quoting that the greater things you shall do and they tried to cross the water and eventually they drowned in that river it's simply because we see in this example is that simply by just quoting the word of God but not having a revelation of the word of God which only Holy Spirit can bring can bring a disaster in our life it will it will not produce the results that we desire so it's important in our lives that we read the word of God with the Holy Spirit because without Holy Spirit it's just a dead letter it's just a law but with the Holy Spirit it becomes alive it reveals who God is it reveals who we are in him it reveals the promises of God and makes it alive and we can and this way we can possess what the word of God says amen Holy Spirit reveals he wants to reveal to us the wonderful things that father has freely given us you know that there is eight thousand promises in the word of god there's promises of god for every day of our life for every situation and every season of our life but those eight thousand promises don't become they don't become a reality in our life just because they are in the bible but through the fellowship of the holy spirit holy spirit begins to bring each promise real makes it real in our lives he begins to bring a revelation of the promise he begins to establish that in our lives and then he begins to that word of God begins to bear fruit and it begins to um it begins to work in our lives we can only operate and possess the promises of God that we receive the revelation from the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit has the Bible has a lot of promises for us and Holy Spirit wants to bring you to pass in life. The promise of healing. God, God says in Exodus chapter 15 verse 26 that I am the God that heals you. And God wants to bring that promise to pass into our life. The promise of freedom in Psalm 91 14 says that I will rescue those who love me. A promise of prosperity when we read uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 first first uh, first half of the chapter where God begins to say that he wants to bless us he wants to make us the head and not the tail but only Holy Spirit can bring those verses that revel uh, only Holy Spirit can bring that word as a reality in our life the promises of safety in Psalm 41 Psalm 41 uh, 46 verse 1 says that God says that I am your refuge and strength God of peace promises of peace and joy where God says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 that I can give you peace that passes all understanding 
So we need fellowship with the Holy Spirit so that we can receive the things that God has freely given uh, to us. You can think of it as this way. God has given you this big treasure box with lots of treasure inside of it that you can survive for the rest of your days upon and not have to worry about anything but Holy Spirit is the key to that treasure box. Holy Spirit is the one that opens up the mysteries of God. All Holy Spirit is the one that brings the revelation to us about who we are, who God is and the promises of God in our life. Amen. So first thing Holy Spirit brings a revelation of His promises. Second thing Holy Spirit reveals us what, our, what future holds. Verse, uh, John chapter 16 and verse 13 says, When the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you into all truth. He will speak on, He will not speak on His own, but will tell you what He has heard. He will tell you about the future. I mentioned already Prophet Elisha. When Prophet Elisha, the Spirit of God was on Prophet Elijah, Prophet Elijah would go and tell the King of Israel all the things that the enemy was about to do. The, the way the enemy planned and tried to sabotage the army of Israelites because Holy Spirit revealed to him the future. We see that especially in the ministry of prophet T.B. Joshua through to, uh, to prophetic ministry we see how many times he comes to a person and begins to tell them the things of the future because Holy Spirit was sent for one of the things is to reveal us, give brilliance of revelation of the things of the future. Many times the prophet T.B. Joshua would come to a person and would say um, that this and this is about to happen so in order to avoid it do this and this. I remember one particular one which is I thought was very 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 interesting. He comes to a person, uh, he comes to one person and says that you're driving this and this kind of car and he says yes. He said change your front left tire because when you're gonna drive I see you when you drive here near uh, here soon when you're gonna drive that tire will explode you're gonna get off the road and you're gonna hit something and you're gonna die so make sure you change you make sure you change that and that tire and so you know it's a very funny prophecy very interesting prophecy but this was what Holy Spirit was sent to do is Holy Spirit was sent to reveal us the future so that we can avoid the traps of the enemy so we can avoid the things that will harm us I remember the story that T.D. Jake shared one time uh, he was at his house, um, well I mean uh, at this particular time he's always at his house but this particular time every Sunday morning he goes to this uh, to this si one side of his house where his office is at and then when he has uh, where he usually studies and prepares and prays for Sunday mornings and he does it already for many many years he does the same thing wakes up at the same time on Sunday morning goes to that room and he, he, he prays he reads the Bible he finished preparing for his message and here he he says the story he says one one morning he just woke up and Jesus felt like in his spirit not to go into that room and just to take time and just in his bedroom just to prepare for his message and just not to go to that side of the house he really felt strongly he even called his man that picks him up and takes him to church he said hey I'm gonna come an hour later to church today so don't come and pick me up right exact that moment where where he usually studies and he's in his room he's in that room in his office and his back back of his house right at that moment where he's usually there uh, the guest line explodes and half of that house just just gets shattered into pieces and his life is spared because Holy Spirit put a prompting in his heart revealing the future and he stayed back in his house where he was at safety and his life was spared so Holy Spirit was given to us to reveal the future, to reveal that, 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 the schemes of, say, of, of the enemy so that we can be spared. But also Holy Spirit reveals the future through visions and dreams. He shows us the things that He wants to accomplish in our lives. The things He wants to bring to pass. He gives us the desires, He gives us the, the visions and dreams, what we can achieve, what we could be if we would work with Him, if we would believe Him and if we would continue to fellowship and work with Him. Amen. We know especially through the book of Four Dimension, we read uh, where uh, Dr. Yonggu Cho describes and tells us that the, that the, 
language of the Holy Spirit is visions and dreams and we can present the visions and dreams that the Holy Spirit is inspiring and uh, inspiring us with to create the future that we desire just like through fear through shame and guilt Satan comes and establishes a future that we don't desire so is through visions and dreams Holy Spirit can begin to bring and reveal us the future and bring that future that we desire to pass amen and so it's so important that we choose not to ignore the Holy Spirit but we choose to develop a relationship and fellowship with him so that he can reveal those wonderful things things of the future in our lives that Father wants to so freely give us amen church and the last thing is the Holy Spirit reveals to us the Father's heart. His Holy Spirit comes to us so that we can take a peek at Father's hearts. So we can see what the Father heart, Father's heart is all, is all about. And if we read in um, 1 Corinthians 2.10, just a few verses above, it says that He, Holy Spirit, reveals to us the deep things of God. And I want to tell you today that Father's heart is still about people. Father's heart is still about saving people. He still reveals that God so loves the world. Bible says that He sent His only Son because He loves the world. But it wasn't the only time. God still loves the world. And God still cares for the world. That's why He did send the Holy Spirit. So we will receive a revelation of who God is. We will receive a revelation of what what God's heart is all about what he cares the most i remember reading a book of good morning holy spirit uh, uh, B uh, pastor benny he explains and he reveals and he talks about the holy spirit he says that one thing that you will discover when you're going to begin to work with the holy spirit when you're going to begin to have continuous fellowship with the holy spirit is you will discover that that holy spirit and his heart and his passion his compassion is for souls and when, when uh, Pastor Benyahin, at his early age, he began to f uh, discover Holy Spirit. He began to work with the Holy Spirit. He began to find out what, what's on his heart. He began to have compassion. He began to weep for people that are not saved. He began to pray for his family. He began to see the eternity as it is. Because only Holy Spirit can bring the reality of eternity. Only Holy Spirit can begin to bring the reality of God's love and God's compassion for people. And he, as he began to... Pastor Benny began to weep and cry for people and shortly after that his family got saved and his, fa and his friends received salvation. So Holy Spirit, his task is actually on this earth is to reveal God's uh, Father's heart to us which is full of love, full of compassion and full of love to reach out for people. And so the more time we spend with the Holy Spirit, the more time we spend associating with the Holy Spirit the more time we, we, we spend in getting to know him the more we will receive a revelation of God's promises for our life of the future that God has for us through vision and dreams and the more we will receive God's love for people and the more we will see what the Father's heart is all about in Jesus mighty name amen church so are we gonna continue to live with the Holy Spirit and fellowship with him amen and so, yes, let's make a commitment to follow Holy Spirit, to live with Him. Every single morning at church, our doors open at 4 o'clock and we open this place up for exactly that reason, for the fellowship with the Holy Spirit. So that we can begin to know what is on God's heart. So we can begin to build our relationship with the Holy Spirit.